There's the first Quick Claw proc, boys. We're in. Holy sh**, Macargo. Wait, you just f***ing annihilated this guy, what?! <sighs> Alright. I'll take it, man. Let's do it. Let's think about, like, in order of priority, what we want to sack first. I think it's Quillfish. Um, although Quillfish has, like, explosion uses, I know that. Um... Probably Executor after that. Not a lot to sack here, to be honest. Alright, um... We kind of have to hit a range with these, so... Good luck. That looks pretty good. Oh, wonderful. Oh, you got so scammed, bro. Holy sh**. Okay, we can consider Meganium Pivot um, to get Shuckle in on Electabuzz now, I think, but... I think this being full HP for, like, the Primeape and stuff, also pretty important. Alright, Tentacruel, don't get crit, bro. This turn is fine, but next turn not so much. Don't do it. That's what the f I'm talking about. Okay. Is there anything to think about here? No, we just stay in a kill. Um, switch AI? Not a thing. Okay, just surf. Alright, so this is Electabuzz. This is always Thunderbolt. I can pivot through Meganium here to save a little bit of HP on Shuckle. The only issue is... It saves me like 12 HP on Shuckle. Which might be relevant, but if I switch into Fire Punch Burn or Ice Punch Freeze, it's so bad, because I have Berry Juice on this. I think it's actually Hard Shuckle here. If I get the Pivot through Meganium, I save, like, 11 to 13 HP on Shuckle. I think it's not worth it. So it's going to be Disable into String Shot into hope that Disable lasts long enough. I think I'm pretty likely. Let's not get frozen. Yeah. Alright. I should have maybe gone Lumberry. Alright, well now we really gotta hope that Disable lasts long enough, because now Shuckle is slower, or Quillfish is slower. Okay. Needs to last one more turn here. It's really important. Okay, we're good. <sighs> Holy fing sh. Okay. <sighs> this is a random move, Machamp. Oh no, this is always Mock Punch, actually. This is kind of perfect. Alright. Hmm. 
We like, again, we don't have a primate counter. We have to like Omega improvise when that thing comes out. All right, that's one quick lot proc. Just don't flinch, okay. Let's not get the second quick lot proc and then it just didn't matter. Or that could happen, that's perfect, okay. Get Giga Drain now. Yeah, this might actually be able to take Ape now. Alright. So I actually don't know if this is a pin missile or a double edge angle. I'm really not sure. I think it's one pin missile. I didn't teach Rock Smash to this, no. I don't know. Sounds pretty good though. I think it's one pin missile and then double edge. It's pretty reasonable. Four hit every time here. Three hit already worth it. Okay. Ooh. I think with double edge recoil, we're actually just dead to two more earthquakes. Um He dies in two more double edges. So this so okay. So two hits of that did like 30%, three hits of that did 30%. If I get another minimum three hit, he's dead to double edge. Well, the thing is like, I can also Meganium. I think it's Pin Missile. Yeah, double edge recoil kills me from here. That's really nice. Okay. I think Meganium kills from here. I think this might be close. Come on. For the boys? Okay. <sighs> Just Primeape now and I'm in a pretty good position actually. So, cross chop crit usually doesn't kill. Giga Drain is 34 to 41. Psybeam to 75. So, Giga Drain to Psybeam kills this. Executor is at 95 HP. Cross chop is 38 and to Rock's like, yeah. So, I think I Giga Drain once and then go, and then go Executor and kill. There's only one crit roll that kills, I think. And that was not it. And that was not it, ladies and gentlemen! Only reversal kills. Rockside does 33. Sorry, only cross chop kills, not reversal. All right, I think it's just dodge. Oh, we even still have berry juice, holy sh**. I think it's only dodge flinch. From rock slide. He has to click rock slide over cross chop and then flinch. He did click it. <sighs> We're not out yet! <sighs> okay. Still just dead to crit. Um, it's completely unreasonable not to stay in. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think, I'm pretty sure this always kills. Woo! Get the f out of my
my lobby! Jesus. <laughs> Lake of Rage gonna be a graveyard? All I wanna do... ...is see you turn into a giant woman. All I wanna do is get to Tiffany. All I wanna do is get to Tiffany on this attempt so I get a YouTube video out of it. How many more fights is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12 fights. Yeah, this... It, yeah, yeah, I agree. This game is actually, like, very easy to get into. Because of all the documentation that exists and stuff. You have citrus in like eight fights. Alright. I won't generate more then. Unless I really need to. I actually have no idea where I need to go. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, true, it's just here. Okay. This is B2F, right? King's Rock. Okay, so I'm just never getting T-Tar if I get the Sneasel, right? Is that a thing? I think maybe I shouldn't commit to this until I feel like I need it, if it's that big of a decision. It's, the correct decision here is to delay until I feel like I need it, but f it, man, it's just... It sounds really fun to use with Weavile, Weavile stats and stuff. Sneasel has Weavile stats and buffed special attack. It's really, really good in this game. Plus, it's like one of the only dark types. Um... So switching into like psychics and shit is really insane. What's up, Poppy? All right, I need a name, a female name that sounds like a real name, but is not a real name. Benadra, I love it. All right, let's check some DVs. Zero HP, zero attack. <laughs> nice, dude! Let's fucking go, baby. Two special as well. At least it's got good speed, right? The thing is, it's already... 115 base speed. So, like... Um... With speed boost? With speed badge boost? With badge speed boost, it already, like, outspeeds everything anyway, no? Okay. Um... Mount Mortar. So I want to go to 2F, right? For the Surf Encounter. For Haunter. So the first trainer I need to prepare for is... Black Belt Keo. Is this like a gauntlet where I can't swap my teams until I'm out? Are we sure this is not a trainer? <laughs> okay, I see. Alright. Got it. We're making pretty good progress through. We're making pretty good progress. This is my first attempt, yeah. It's probably not worth to recover here, just because, like... This is, like, not getting used on any of the other mods anyway. Unless it outspeeds Slowbro, I guess? So much for that. 300 bitrate! 300 kilobytes! Thank you, Vodafone! Thank you so much! All right, so I think the only thing we have to dodge is turn one explosion crit from this, and if that happens, we just lose giraffe or egg. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not even- it's not crit, no, it's- it's turn one explosion, like, one-third of all rolls that we have to dodge. But this is like, we can lose this guy, it's okay. Right, we're safe. Why did he HP grass? Thunderbolt is more damage. Sorry, wrong overlay. All 
All right, this is Giga Drain or Explosion. Yeah, the reason I wanted to kill the Electrode with Giraffe Rig there is because it baits the Executor first, which is easier to deal with than the Quillfish in my mind. Okay, let's try to not get a two hit here. Come on. Uh, unlucky. I mean, it's fine. Dead to Psychic Crick, so we go to this. He might explode here. Okay. We just kill it with Wrap. Now it's just Quillfish. When the f does Slowbro get Psychic, by the way? 85, I see how it is. I can see how it is. So this is last Mon, this technically has Explosion, but because it's the last Mon of the Trainer, this cannot explode. Probably could have gone Quick Claw Giraffe Rig. You're right. That is probably better. I went Lumberry because of Thunderbolt Paralysis. But like Quick Claw also prevents that, right? So. Let's get in the ball. I guess I could sandstorm, huh? Yeah. Could have probably done that a bit sooner. We gotta throw our ultra balls if it starts struggling. The paralysis is helping with PP though. There we go. Alright, I need another female name that sounds like a real name but is not. Latixia. I like it. Her, rather. I, I mean, 7 special, 11 speed is fine. That's all you need, right? The rest doesn't really matter. Alright, next trainer is another boom trainer. So the reason we pre-damaged this giraffe rig is so that the uh, fortress that's about to come out does not explode on the switch. We need it to HP steal. So that... And because it sees a kill with HP steal, it's always going to go for it. So Nilton over here can come in safely. And, uh, fire punch this guy. And now it's the cloister last, so the cloister can't explode. And we just use lantern and kill it. Nido Redemption Arc starts now. He gets Earthquake at 54, so I'm assuming he's going to start being good. Yeah, a couple of people have beaten this game. I don't know why this guy doesn't face the cave entrance. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's 
It's fine. All right, we can get f by some crazy RNG here, but when has that ever happened? On paper, we just outspeed and kill this. Eighty percent of the time, we just kill it. All right. So he could have gotten Quick Claw AP boost into Quick Claw crit to fuck us. But that's not the universe we live in. Okay, I'll stay in for a turn. Because I can. I guess, like, Slowbro HP is kind of good for Doug Trio in case some crazy shit happened, but... I don't think any crazy shit is gonna happen. Fortress being higher HP also means it, like... It's, it's not gonna fucking matter, let's be real. Tully's gonna wipe me so hard. I have Haunter, what do you mean? <laughs> Guaranteed Earthquake. Let's go, Schmeedy! Show him who the f is boss around here. Nice to see you streaming again. Yeah, if you can see me through this f***ing bitrate, line them up. Line them up. Alright, immediately- oh, this Vileplume has a quick claw. But I think if we just go Lumberry Dodrio, it's always fine. AP boost? I did get a defense drop. Let's be a little careful. Not dead to anything. Double defense drop. This is no longer guaranteed Giga Drain. I think it doesn't matter. Because Jolteon is not dead to any crits. Yeah. And this is just Miracle Berry and Thunderbolt always kills with no item equipped. Alright. A little bit of a breath of fresh air, these trainers. Hey, thank you for the five gifted, I appreciate it. Glass cannonmons are really hard to make good in these kinds of games. Why is Thunderbolt not in the first slot for this Pokemon, by the way? Dude, I thought I would have to stream like for like seven hours a day to get to Tiffany, but I'm like three fights away from it. <laughs> Should've just done it last night. This game is, like, not as intimidatingly long as you initially think. Because, like, a lot of fights are really... A lot of fights are, like, just a couple Pokémon, and you have mobile PC, and you have speed up and everything. Oh, 
Um, let's go pin missile into double edge here. Might as well get to hideout. <laughs> no. I'm leaving after... Well, maybe not after... Maybe I'll leave after, um... Spencer. I literally have to be at the airport in 12 hours, so... Only has explosion and spikes. I guess like Roar Dawn. I didn't even think about like Roar Dawn fan that much, to be honest. Um, this is also a range. I mean, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to, to uh, Toronto for Mr. Mooton's wedding and to record some D&D. &D. Gengar is 55, but I think you delay to get to get a uh, toxic. Okay. I'm dead at Earthquake Crit. Sometimes. I forgot about spikes. What do I do? I think it's probably like Meganium Angle. Right? Because Meganium, he needs like Quick Claw, Crit, and then one of like one in three crit rolls. Um, this is just like Quick Claw, Ancient Power, Bait, and right now we just died to like half of all crits, so let's do this. I guess Quick Claw, yeah, Quick Claw crit always kills as well. Okay, we're good. No, we're not good yet. We have to hit the range. 28%. We have to dodge one in three crits. Oh, and now we have to dodge another Quick Claw, actually, huh? Another Quick Claw crit. I think it's hard, Mantine. It's just a bit safer. No quick claw. Nice. Uh, we're kind of f now though, because I took so much damage on everything. Waterfall doesn't guarantee kill the Dawn fan. It's 48% range, and I'm dead to rock slide crit, and this has a quick claw also. So. I could Jolteon. Okay, wait, Meganium. How much percent is spikes? Twenty-eight. 
12.5, yeah. It's the same as poison damage, right? Um, okay, so it's 18 from spikes on Meganium. Goes to 72. Rock's like highest crit roll is exactly 72. Ugh. So I guess we could go slow bro to bait the guaranteed earthquake to, the, to then go into Meganium. Earthquake and Rockslide do like the same damage to Meganium anyway. All this is fucked. I think I gotta stay in. Sixty-two on seventy. Yeah, 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 just hit the range. Just don't get crit. Okay. I think there's no way I'm not risking a crit on it on something. Um... <sighs> Quick Claw makes this so hard. I really underestimated this trainer. Just because, because I, I, again, I didn't see spikes in the Kel, because I just only look for damage percent. <laughs> um... Yeah, this, there was a Shuckle, Shuckle meme here and I didn't go for it. I think I risk Mantine on the Quick Claw. Sorry, Mantine. Can go, Kenthony! That's what I'm talking about! Jesus.